Bonsoir, bonsoir. On se retrouve pour continuer l'événement. Tranquillement, on va faire une petite heure. Comme on a, on a fait un petit stream ce matin, donc une heure ce soir, et puis euh, tranquille ou quoi Wow, what a bustling city This place is fit for a king Our next step is to get to the top of the metropole and ask the goddess of prophecy for guidance. If there is a king in that castle, I sure hope he won't get mad at us for trespassing. Quel maladroit. <rire> Make way for the king. Oh darn, we jinxed it. Oh no. Um, did he overhear us talking about us sneaking into his castle? <rire> Paimon hopes he's not mad. Silence. The one who shall soon stand before you is the ruler of Constellation Metropole. The one who descended after a meteor shower, and the protector of order, and all the stars in the sky. That's a long list of titles. I bid ye welcome, guests from afar. Long have I heard of your grand deeds. O oh, fairy, who restored the lifeblood of the forest. O oh, hero, who... Uh, uh, huh? Elle a une moustache. Ça c'est rigolo. <rire> Navia. Ok. Pourquoi elle a une moustache dans ce monde Mince, je peux pas faire espace. Navia. Hold your foul tongue. How dare you utter Her Majesty's name <rire> Nice one, partner. Spectacular improvisation skills. I'd expect no less from you. <laughs> all right, all right. You can relax now. Allow me to make some introductions. This is the Traveler and her trusty companion, Paimon. You are personal friends with Her Majesty the King? Please, forgive our grievous mistake. We had no idea. <clears throat> all right, the welcome ceremony is over. Everyone back to your stations. I will personally treat our guests to some royal hospitality. Yes, your majesty. Oh, come on, I've already sent them off. So anyway, how did you guys get here? We were gonna ask you the same thing! Also, how are you already king of this nation? And where did you get a crown? Oh, wait, don't say it. You just woke up like this, right? Sounds like you've answered your own question. But before I woke up, I heard a voice say to me, You are the king of Constellation Metropole. Now go forth and save your city. <laughs> a similar thing happened to me. Oh, yeah, sorry. You must be the fairy of the Forest of Blessings, right? Mm -hmm. This is Nilu, a friend that we made during our time in Sumeru. Nice to meet you, Miss Nilu. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. If you ever get the chance to go to Fontaine, make sure you come and visit me. I'm based in Poisson. Poisson. Seems like you're taking this all in stride. Aren't you nervous about getting stuck here and never being able to get back home? Why would I be worried about that? We've faced much bigger problems than this before, and we always pull through. This, besides, life's always full of surprises. You gotta learn to just enjoy it. That sounds like a great outlook on life. You have a very optimistic spirit. Thanks, I'll take that. Honestly, though, it also puts me at ease to find out that you guys are the fairy and heroes that I've been hearing about in this prophecy. <laughs> We're kind of veterans at dealing with prophecies by now, aren't we? Uh, about that. Has anything bad happened in the Metropole? We heard about an evil dragon. Did it make a mess here too? It sure did. Apparently, for whatever reason, 
He went for the stars above the city recently. Literally just flew up and started snatching them out of the sky. Luckily, the guards responded quickly and stopped the dragon from taking them back to his lair. Unfortunately, though, he dropped them before he flew off. Now they're scattered all around the Metropole. I've been out trying to retrieve them, but I only managed to get one of them before you showed up. Oh, I didn't ask yet. What brings you to the Metropole anyway? Oh, Paimon can explain! Le coucou va sortir? Ah non. Huh, I see. So, you want to consult the Oracle of the Goddess of Prophecy? Je n'ai pas compris pourquoi ils ont montré la boîte à coucou. Do you know how we can do that, Miss Navia? Well, the goddess's statue is indeed at the top of the castle. I can take you up there. However, I've heard from the citizens here that the goddess hasn't given out any new revelations in a very long time. Really? But Grandpa Almond told us that he received his prophecy from the goddess. Oh, that's probably because the prophecy about the hero of Simulanka has been around for a very long time. But recently, people realized that the goddess didn't reveal anything about what's supposed to happen after peace has been restored. Huh. Okay. Still, can't hurt to try your luck. And maybe you can help me get rid of the invaders while we're at it. Invaders? So the dragon's not your only problem? Right. The forest isn't the only place where strange things have been happening to the residents. Have you come across the gift from the Goddess of Prophecy yet? You mean... the protection magic that stops them from coming to harm? We saw it in action. Yep, that's the one. Over the past little while, this magic has been triggering far more frequently. We don't know if it's simply because the Metropole has grown a lot more dangerous, or if there's a deeper reason behind it. Salut, ma chip. Bah écoute, euh, tout va bien depuis tout à l'heure. Et toi T'as passé une bonne journée Some residents find themselves getting stuck in a place and unable to move. Others start repeating the same thing over and over again. <laughs> like they're trapped in some kind of loop. If we were to use clockwork toys as an analogy, could it be that the tracks have eroded or the gears have slid out of place? That's exactly right, Nilu. That's basically what's happening. Anyway, some of the monsters outside the city saw this as an opportunity to launch an invasion. Ah, occupé à du rangement aujourd'hui. Mais oui, t'as as raison de profiter de la fraîche. <laughs> Salut, Spé. Ça va toi aussi depuis tout à l'heure? Oh, moi j'ai. Bah du coup, je suis allé me balader. J'ai été jusqu'à Action, à pied. Comme il n'y a pas de voiture, forcément, on fait tout à pied. Euh, et puis j'ai fait un petit peu de travaux aussi. Tranquillou. On survit. <rire> ah ouais, t'as eu, eu chaud, quoi. Mm. Le sud. Oh, ça me manque quand même, le sud. J'aime bien. Mais nous n'avons pas vu un seul monstre sur notre route ici. That's because I already took care of most of them over the past couple of days. Of the remaining few, we trapped some of them inside the castle and chased the rest back out of the city. Okay, so to summarize, not only has the magic here gotten all messed up, but the dragons also knocked some of the stars out of the sky, plus there's a bunch of monsters in the city! <sighs> Sounds like there's a lot more to fix here than in the Forest of Blessings. Well... Defeating the dragon and the monster should be straightforward enough. But how do we fix the magic? Supposedly, the goddess has had it all planned out for ages. One of her oldest prophecies says this. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Huh? But weren't the tracks the gift that she gave to her people in the first place? Does that mean she plans to take the gift back? That's what the prophecy seems to be saying, yes. 
So, as a result, some people are against turning the gear, despite what the prophecy says, since they fear a future where they no longer enjoy the goddess's protection. But letting this drag on isn't the answer either, is it? No. And I think they know that. But they're just too afraid to take that final, terrifying step. They're still hoping there might be an alternative solution. Now, we could ignore their objections and go turn the gear ourselves. But... Exactly. You know me well. And that's why you're my partner. I want to get as many people on my side as possible. At the end of the day, this is their city, and they should have the right to decide its future. Ooh, spoken like a true wise king, Navia. I am the boss of Spina di Rosula, after all. This may be my first time as a king, but there are a few similarities between the two roles. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Nilu, would you be willing to lend me your support? With your help, I'm confident we'll be able to find the most frictionless way to resolve the problems plaguing this city. Ah, oh, thanks, partner. <laughs> Seriously, like we'd ever say no? We're your friends! No need to ask us so formally in the future. I'm happy to help, too. This is a beautiful city. And just like the Forest of Blessings, I would love to see it return to normal as soon as possible. Ah! Great! As the king of Constellation Metropole, I extend to you my gratitude. All right, everyone, follow me. I'll show you the way to the goddess statue at the top of the Metropole. And stay close. You don't want to get lost in my castle. It's huge! Ce serait bête, effectivement. Les petits avions. Euh... Eh, hey, il est là-haut. Comment est-ce que je monte Et là, il y a le toit qui va m'embêter. Ah bah oui C'est plus simple comme ça. Effectivement. Ah mince, il n'y a pas d'œuf. Et... Oh, un coffre. Et je crois qu'il y a un autre avion pas loin. Ah oui, il est par là. Ah bah il est au milieu de la fontaine. Ok, bon, je vais chercher le coffre. Je sais ça va être pas mal. Ah bah ok. Ah, il y a quand même des d'autres trucs. Okay. Ah, il y a un autre coffre là-bas. Est-ce que j'y vise une traite Non, c'est pas possible, je pense pas. Faut que j'aille sur l'autre toit. J'espère qu'il n'y a pas de l'épreuve. Hein. Je crois que j'allais tomber. <rire> Fascinant. Là-bas, ouais. on va chercher le petit avion. Hop là, j'ai failli partir loin. Et où ah, bah, il y a. Voilà. Et celui de la fontaine qui est là-bas. Ouf. Oui, elle est profonde en fait, la fontaine. <rire> Allez, let's go. Je sais pas ce que c'est ici. Je verrai plus tard. Ah, je vais aller peut-être activer le checkpoint. Alors c'est peut-être pas au même niveau. Ouais, à mon avis c'est pas au même niveau. Ah, si. Je vais d'abord aller au checkpoint. Ça, ça sera fait. Voilà. Du coup, j'ai pas encore redonné de vie à mes persos. Hein, hein? What's this? Une étoile.
ritual. Wait. This looks like the star I found earlier. I told the guards to place it near the goddess statue. Maybe they ran into some trouble up there. Guess we'd better hurry. Chouette, s'il n'y a pas d'autres euh, trucs. Quand même, hein. sur le chemin, on peut en trouver des choses. Hein. Oh, par terre. Je veux ici. Oh, purée. On fait peur. Dodge this. Don't get frostbite. s'en occuper. Non, je ne veux pas. Pourtant c'est bien là. Je lui parle Je ne veux pas les laisser sortir. Oui. Ah bah d'accord, ok. Il fallait marcher sur la dalle. Ah non, c'est lui qui fait hier. Okay. Hey Boum Closer. Try not to enjoy this too much. C'est compliqué. Hein. Ok, la petite étoile. Ah, il y a encore un méchant. Je crois qu'ils sont pas cons en fait. Non, on a 
escapes my sight. Prepare to be blown away! C'est de la triche. Je suis d'accord avec elle. Quel brut C'est le brut au colonus. Déjà l'étoile. J'adore faire les fusions de pouvoir. Ça c'est trop top. Is this an answer from this world? Ouais ouais, ils ont décidé de me combattre à fond. Allez, donnez-moi l'étoile. Ouais. Feels like they really voilà. didn't want to give that to us. Ça m'en parle plus. Je peux peut-être euh, quand même euh, leur faire un petit dégât comme ça. Yeah Freeze ah Attends, ils sont morts d'un coup, pourquoi Le groupe est prêt. Ah, parce que maintenant, il faut que je fasse une musique en plus. 
Ok. Mais j'ai pas compris pourquoi ils étaient morts d'un coup là les. Bon, c'est pas grave. Allez, on suit le rythme. Hein. C'est pas du tout facile. Et du coup, j'ai. Oui, j'ai réussi, apparemment. Ok. Fascinant. Je j'ai fait plein d'erreurs. Hein bon, ok, j'ai fait un petit détour par là, je sais pas pourquoi. Euh, J'avais pas une autre sortie à un moment. Étrange. Alors, attends. Ça veut dire quoi déjà euh, les deux petites... Euh... Euh... Je sais plus c'est quoi les deux petites euh... plateformes. Ah bah, c'est ça, il faut que je porte en fait, c'est juste ça. qui en sont apparus. Oh la bu. Yeah. Oh, J'ai tout compris moi avec les, les mélanges de pouvoir. J'adore. J'aime trop. Ça, par contre, je sais pas du tout à quoi ça sert. Ah C'est quoi ce bouclier de malade What's the hurry? Attendez, attendez. Euh... Ah Comment je les décolle Non. Non. 
je fais Ah Ok. Voilà. C'est bien coincé, ce sera difficile. Ah, ok, tirer ensemble. Let's go Courageuse âme. Allez, donnez-moi mon étoile. Oui. Oh, hey, oh. il est en train de me pousser. Yes. Quite fine. Alors attends, par contre, j'avais un autre endroit par là-bas. Ah, bah je vais y aller. Il y a un, un avion en papier. Je suis que ce autour de monde. sont tous par terre. Ah, ah mais c'est un énorme méchant là par contre. Si on en apprenait un peu plus sur toi, enfin si ça te dit. Oh, Dis-moi tu veux savoir quoi Mais il est où l'avion Ah bah je me suis embêté pour rien. Oh mince. Ça ça look. Good. Je suis morte. Bon, de toute façon, il faut que j'aille en haut mais on va par là donc il faut que je par là. Bon par contre, je vais faire revivre mon gars parce que je crois que j'ai pas non plus de le statut des sept par là. Non. Pas de statut. J'ai le commencement, ton premier souvenir de jeu vidéo. Ouf Mon premier souvenir de jeu vidéo Oh Compliqué ça Euh... Ce serait sur euh, Sega, à Mega Drive. <rire> Je dirais euh, soit Sonic, qui est vraiment un super jeu. D'ailleurs, ils l'ont remasterisé il euh, n'y a pas si longtemps que ça. Je crois qu'il y a, a 3-4 ans. Et... Euh... Qu'est-ce qu'il y avait d'autre bah, Mario Bros, forcément, sur ce... Euh... Non, Mario Bros, ça c'était sur Nintendo. Ah Et euh, sur Mega Drive, qu'est-ce que j'avais Oh, Jurassic Park J'ai adoré. Et toi I can't move. What happened? Your Majesty, this conservative radical, he attacked us. He threw the star from the Astral Garden and even stole the magic thread linking the Oracle Pillars. But just as we were about to arrest him, the goddess's magic activated, and now we can't move. No! Nobody touched the Celestial Gear! What's an oracle pillar? You need to use it to pray to the goddess. I'll explain later. First, let's help these guys. Euh, tourner l'engrenage. Attaquer la clé. Renvoyer, ok. Donc là j'ai renvoyé, qu'est-ce qu'il faut que je fasse Attends. Ils peuvent ouvrir le capuchon de la colle. Ouais. Attaquer permet de répandre de la colle forte. Chaque colle forte peut produire jusqu'à 3 gouttes. Qu'est-ce que je dois faire Pas compris. 
Euh, ils me disent d'aller là, mais... J'ai pas trop compris. Tourner l'angle. Alors attends. Capturer la personne suspecte. Bah c'est celle-là. Et pourquoi est-ce qu'il faut que je fasse ça Après comment je fais pour... Euh... Je me rappelle plus. Je vois qui c'est. Ah, c'est celui qui, euh, qui enlève, enlève le capuchon là, ou je sais pas quoi. Comment je fais mmh. euh, Moi je me souviens petit jouer à Mario Bros. Ton préféré c'est le 3. Ouais le 3 c'est vrai qu'il est pas mal. Ah le 2 je l'ai pas du tout aimé là. Je sais pas, j'étais pas fan plus que ça du 2. Euh, la NES et la Game Boy. Ouais, bah ça j'ai connu aussi. Avec la, la grosse télé. <rire> enfin, c'était un, euh, un petit écran, je sais pas, il devait faire euh, pff, même pas euh, 30 sur 30. Mais c'était euh, la grosse bête, quoi. C'est plus les écrans plats de maintenant. <rire> Est-ce que tu as un jeu que tu as fini et que tu finiras plusieurs fois encore Genre, moi c'est Mario 64, je l'ai fini un nombre incalculable de fois. Alors honnêtement, moi quand je finis un jeu, euh, je le recommence pas. Mais un jeu que je pourrais euh, réessayer, c'est Spiro. J'ai fini les trois. Trilogie. Par contre, j'ai toujours pas compris euh, pourquoi... Donc j'ai rembobiné le paysage. Et pourquoi je peux rien faire Comment je capture Attends, je sais pas. Je vais faire ça. Euh... Non, après ça n'a rien à voir. Ah putain, ils me le remettent pas. Donc ça c'est explication, euh, ok. Oh, oh c'est ballot ça. Bah j'ai essayé mais euh, ça veut pas. Oh Ah oui d'accord, ok. Bon on recommence. Ça y est. Pourquoi ça voulait pas tout à l'heure Ah, il est allé se coller au quai de dedans. Ça marche. Ah, ah bah merci, SP. Parce que là, là c'est vrai que j'avais pas capté. Pourtant, j'ai essayé de taper sur le canon, mais il n'y pas au bon moment. Fallait que je le fasse quand il était sur la dalle. Halt It's ok. Let him go. But, Your Majesty. Even if we catch up to him now, we won't be able to change his mind. Much less quell the fear that many others like him are feeling. All it would do is turn him further against us. Understood, Your Majesty. Also, this is the magic thread he was holding from the Oracle Pillars. Your Majesty, what should we? Ouais, carrément. Pitcher, Todd. <laughs> ah, please give that to the traveler over there. I believe they have some questions for the goddess. Yes, Your Majesty. What do we do with this exactly? Uh, see those oracle pillars over there? Just use the magic thread to connect them together in a specific pattern. And the goddess of prophecy will answer your prayers. Oh! Sounds easy enough. Let's give it a try! Okay, donc il faut que je euh, mette les petits traits, mais je pouvais pas le faire tout à l'heure. 
Ah, maintenant je peux le faire. Il faut que je fasse une étoile, on est d'accord Euh, T. On va essayer en faisant une étoile. Il veut pas. Ah, hop, il fallait que je regarde. Je regarde le pilier à chaque fois que je fais T. Yes. It worked. To which course of fate do you seek answers, my child of Simulanka? Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Mm, okay. Ah, elle dit rien sur le futur de Simulanka. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. Ok, c'est tout. Et le monde Et Elle dit rien. Ok, bon, bah... On avait juste la réponse pour la crise de la métropole. Et encore. So, Miss Navia was right. The goddess of prophecy didn't tell us anything about the future. Fair enough. Guess we'll just have to play it by ear. Mm. Then first, we have to restore the sky back to its original state by putting the stars back in their positions. Let me do a quick count. All right. Adding in the ones we picked up on the way here, I think that's all of them. Let's go hang these stars back up in the sky. In the... Sky? Uh, how do we get up there? Parce que c'est haut, là. Oh, <laughs> I got us covered. We will, of course, be taking the Aerial Express. Mm -hmm. Is that a flying train? Hey, you already took a train that runs on water. Is a flying train really that much weirder? Do I? Well, at least the Maritime Express still runs on a track. Oh, come on, don't worry about it. This train has been blessed by the goddess of prophecy. Its whole purpose is to protect the metropole skies. It took me a lot of effort to find it, you know. I don't think anyone's used it in, like, a mm, hundred years. A hundred years? Are you sure it's safe? Let's not forget that the goddess of prophecy's magic has been going haywire recently. Comment elle parle, elle me fait rire. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Unless you want to do the honors, Paimon. Fancy flying up there on your own? <laughs> no, thank you. It's way too high up. Oh, wait, Milu. You've got a feel for how magic works here. Can you do your thing and sense if this train is a real deal? I can try. Hmm. Yes. I can sense traces of magic, but it's different from the kind I felt in the forest, so... I don't know. Okay, fine. Guess there's only one way to find out. That's the spirit. I'll come with you. Miss Nilu, will you be joining us? I think I'll stay behind. That way, if something does go wrong, you'll have someone on the ground to get you some help. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. If the train does break down, you can make us a giant origami crane to come bail us out. Or if a crane's too difficult, a finch could work. Ok. Eh bah, ben, allons prendre le train. Il est par où Il est là. C'est parti Chou chou Avec les petits, les petits piaf. Chou chou 
<laughs> Aerial Express moving out. Whoa, it Comment was flying! What an amazing feeling. I've never been on a flying train before. Neither have we. Je sais pas comment on trouve leur emplacement. Ah, il les indique ça. That should do it. On to the next location. C'est assis, je lui ai même pas demandé ça soit. J'en ai combien Hang in there, Paimon. The hard part's nearly over. After that, it's downhill all the way. Mince. Ah. Voilà. We're finally done. Okay, let's get back down. Well, the bon. train is still working. On a remis les étoiles en place. des choses que je peux voir. Great job. It looked like it all went smoothly. Yeah, and it was an absolute blast too. You got to ride with us next time, Miss Nilu. Huh? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, thanks for Halt. What do you think you're doing? Get out of my way! What's oh, going on? Your Majesty, there! Let us through! Stay back! It's okay. Let them through. Okay. Y your Majesty, could we please ask you not to turn the gear that connects up to the sky? And why is that? As you have seen, the goddess's gift is very important to us. It keeps us from harm and protects our very lives. Some of us, we just aren't ready to lose that protection. I see. I understand. Huh? Your Majesty, do you mean... I won't turn that gear. Not until you're ready. What? I've said before that the Metropole belongs to the people, and they should have the right to decide its future. <sighs> but let me ask you this. How do you plan to solve the issues we are currently facing? Well, we'll start by rescuing the people that have gotten stuck, and then we'll find a way to figure out the true cause of this crisis. And have you made any headway on that? Unfortunately not. Hey, you little... I'm sorry, my friend, but it's the truth. You have friends and family that have been affected, don't you? That have gotten stuck? Duh! I understand your concerns. But if we let this drag on for much longer, the situation may well get worse. More and more people will be frozen by the goddess's magic. Yes, but if we turn that gear now, all the tracks in this city will disappear. I know this is a hard decision to make, but have you ever thought about why the goddess might have made things this way in the first place? Huh? Why do you think she might decide to take back her gift and stop revealing further prophecies about the future? Are you saying she has abandoned us? No, quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The goddess dearly loves this world and all the people of Simulanka. And because she loves you so much, she wants you to be able to choose your own path. 
<sighs> Every parent hopes their child will have a happy and carefree life. But if they're overprotective, then all they'll manage to do is keep their child trapped. If a mother bird lets her baby ride on her wings for too long, her child will never learn how to fly. Perhaps the goddess of prophecy has always known that one day, she'll have to let go. Children can only become independent if they're allowed to form their own opinions, make their own decisions, and deal with the consequences on their own. Only then will they be able to continue their journey alone, even after their parents are gone. But we've relied on the goddess's protection for so long, we don't know what it's like to go it alone. We don't know if we have what it takes. Are you kidding me? I think you've proven yourselves more than capable of that. What do you mean? You made a call in a time of crisis, and you've come all this way to talk to me. Even the guards couldn't stop you. That must have taken a lot of courage. But we only did it because we were scared. Why you set out on the journey doesn't matter. What matters is that you've proven you can choose your own path. <sighs> My friend, I fear our king is right. It is time for us to face our fears. Uh, but, uh, but we... We can't go on living like this. Living in fear. Look at what it's driven you to do. You threw away a star personally created by the goddess of prophecy herself. <laughs> you once revered her more than any of us. And I think the king is right. She hasn't abandoned us. So, why don't we put our trust in her one more time? <laughs> I don't care anymore. Do what you want. Okay. Aw, he left. I'm sorry about my friend. That's just how he is. Always had a terrible temper. Is it just me, or... Has he accepted the goddess's prophecy? I think so. Not that you'll ever hear him admit it out loud. Your Majesty, please turn the gear that connects up to the sky. So, you've made up your mind? About giving up the goddess's gift? Yes, I've made up my mind. But maybe losing the gift isn't what this is about anymore. Because we've gained something, too. You have given us courage. <laughs> well said. I am proud of your decision. Now, gather around, everyone, and join me as we make the night sky of this wonderful city turn once more. Okay, let's go. I don't need to say that. I'm going to So the stars hanging in the sky, they're music notes! Okay. This entire metropole is a huge music box! That's incredible! <sighs> How do you feel? Uh, a little scared and uncertain, but for some reason, I feel a lot more at ease. It's as if some kind of huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Uh, figured out any next steps? To be honest, not really. But maybe I can start by having a heart-to-heart -heart with that stubborn friend of mine. I have an idea. If you don't know what to do, why don't you start by helping the people around you? You mean... The people who got stuck because of the goddess's magic? I mean anyone and everyone who needs your help. By helping others, you'll eventually find your own path. Trust me, I have experience in this. 
What kind of experience, Your Majesty? Hmm... Ah, uh, yes. We'll need a formal organization with a catchy name before we go out and start helping people. Why don't we call it... The Spina di Rosula? Ok, là maintenant on parle italien. Spina... di Rosula? Ooh, or even... The Spina di Rosula di Simulanca. Yeah, that's catchy. Wow, big expansion for the Spina. Moving into other worlds now. Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I like it. It's a great name. Let's do as your majesty suggests. Well then, how about I appoint you as the head of the Spina in Simulanca? While I'm off fighting the dragon with the other heroes, it'll be your responsibility to work with the guards and take good care of the people in the metropole. What? You're planning on fighting the dragon? But no, your majesty, you must reconsider! He's right. Your majesty, you can't. How are you two on the same side all of a sudden? Perhaps your majesty is unaware of this. The Great Dragon suddenly broke out from the Titanium Mines one day, and tore the end of the world to pieces. After that, it spat out a strange fog that surrounded a whole island. No one knows what lies beyond the fog, and no one knows what has become of that poor island. Before your majesty arrived, we dispatched many soldiers to fight the dragon, but none came back alive. Yikes. Sounds worse than we thought. Isn't that all the more reason for us to go? There could still be guards trapped there, waiting for someone to rescue them. King Navia is right. We cannot simply stand by and watch as the people of this world suffer. <sighs> very well. Though I have not served by your side for very long, Your Majesty. Two days is enough for me to have learned that once your mind is set, any attempts to change it are futile. <laughs> You're a pretty good judge of character. Um, he probably didn't mean that as a compliment. Since you're serious about this, I won't try and stop you. There's only one way to reach the end of the world, and that's by taking the Maritime Express. Oh, right! So there's a line going there too? Yes. It was originally built to serve the workers commuting to the Titanium Mines, but it has been abandoned since the dragon attack. I'll tell the conductor to wait for you at the platform by the side gate to the Metropole first thing tomorrow morning. You're embarking on an extremely dangerous adventure. Please be careful, your majesty and friends. Oh, thank you for your concern. While I'm gone, I leave the Metropole in your capable hands. Yes, yes your, your majesty. majesty. <laughs> Just call me boss from now on. That's what everyone in the Spina calls me, and it's what I'm used to. So, the plan for tomorrow is... Journey across the ocean, make it to the end of the world, and defeat a dragon! Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? At least we'll get to see some amazing scenery along the way, right? Besides, we'll have each other. It'll be a shared experience that we'll never forget. Plus, we're pretty well equipped for a classic Heroes vs. Dragon story. We got Miss Nilu as our magic caster, and I... I guess I'm the melee warrior who leads the charge? Paimon can definitely see that. Anyway, those are tomorrow's problems. Right now, all Paimon wants is to eat a proper meal, because worst case scenario, if Paimon ends up getting eaten by a dragon, she wants to do it on a full stomach. And something about the end of the world doesn't sound like a great place for food options. Hmm. Well, the origami animals in the forest only drink magic tonic. What do the toy people here in Constellation Metropole eat? Vegetable oil and sawdust, I think.
page 2 terminée. Et puis bah la page 3. Fin du monde. Et bah ce sera pour demain. Comme c'est écrit. Voilà. <rire> Et bah euh, du coup je vous remercie d'avoir regardé le live. On pourra euh, se poser d'autres questions si tu veux se payer euh, au prochain live. <rire> Je vous souhaite une bonne soirée et puis euh, à demain. Salut